it's almost 7.30, our flight leaves in the morning, and there's just one thing I need to grab, ah, from the prop room. I will explain. I don't know how far back on the plane Ben was that he's still still hasn't disembarked. Found Ben. Hey! It's like walking into soup. I can like the air around me. The plan is to spend the least amount of time outside as possible because last time I was in Vegas during this heat, I got heat stroke waiting for a lift. So I wasn't gonna wasn't gonna have a repeat of that. It is disgusting. Yeah. I don't Why much care for it. City in a desert? I don't know. I don't know how they built this place without <laughs> air conditioning. <laughs> Makes me appreciate the heat. Like the heyday of Vegas, right? Like the Rat Pack and all that. There was no air conditioning. Did they just get so drunk they didn't care? That could be it. All right, this way, Pillar 20. So we're staying at the Rio, and ideally, we're about to go inside and then never come outdoors again for the next two days. That's the dream. Although I guess we might we, we might want to go to somewhere else in Las Vegas at some point, but That's we'll call true. a car for that. Okay, so Ben and I, hang on. That did very little to the ambient light. Ben and I are in Las Vegas to play a video game. So, first of all, a brief disclosure. We're here for the launch party and event for Sleep Tight. They are paying for our hotel. They are also paying for some amount of food, but not like if we want beers or whatever. We had to pay for the flights. This video is not sponsored and we were not paid to make it. Maybe this is more information than you need to know but uh, typically, your boy sleeps in the nude. Uh, figured that wouldn't go over, so I went into the Loading Ready Run prop room and got one of our pairs of uh, matched pajama sets. So I'm gonna go with this instead. Like, okay, that's what's weird to me, is that there's this amazing, the like, showgirl mirror. Yeah. And then a, a, it's a hell of smaller thing. sink in here, and jacuzzi tub, and then Ben out there, Wait. Oh, where's he gone? <laughs> we gotta look good before we go to bed. <laughs> On our way upstairs, Ben was saying, is it gonna, I was, that he was saying to himself, is it gonna be weird walking around a casino in pajamas? And then we saw all the other people not wearing pajamas, just the other people in the casino. Anyway. Nope. No. No. Also, I don't care. Yeah. I don't know any of these people. I'm never going to see them again. I did make the executive call to wear underwear yeah, under the too. under the pajamas. I'm wearing a pair of shorts. We don't we don't we don't need that. Buttons up. Good good. Yeah. Let's uh let's go play a video game. Okie dokie. <laughs> I I have I have never done this before. This is gonna be goofy. <laughs> I mean <laughs> Literally <laughs> Can I can I say this? When we were going through customs, the, the customs official asked Ben, where are you going to Las Vegas? Why? And, and I he panicked and just said, Vegas stuff. Vegas stuff? <laughs> and he just went, all right. Yeah, he, he didn't talk. What the fuck is this? Whoa. What the f No, absolutely not. Come on, man, we got all day off tomorrow. That looks like a lot of fun. Jesus Christ almighty! <laughs> hey. Hey, we're here. 
at the sleep tight uh, red carpet thing. There's even a red carpet underneath. Maybe this is the closest we're ever going to get to Hollywood fame. Yeah. My initial impression, uh -huh. just from peering around the corner, yeah. is that a lot of people copped out and they're just wearing like t-shirts and plaid pants. I saw that. Yeah. They're not going full ham like we are. I don't know. Mm. Oh, you guys are so ready. Yes. Thank you. All ready for the summer party. I don't know where we're supposed to go or who we're supposed to talk to, but we're here. Damn. Terrific. Which also means your show will be played on this TV in front, and okay. you might get a little audience here too. Okay. Oh wow, all right, cool. Uh, I just need to get my password. Hang on, we gotta get the access code to get in the Steam first. You use OBS, right? Uh-oh. Check one, two. Hey, hey, check one, two. IWB. How is it not installed already? <laughs> Let me into that Twitch. No, what, where'd the, oh, this mouse is whack. Yeah. Ah, there, what, what? So that's now not driving me absolutely batch. What device did you plug in? Headphones. I cannot. Oh. Is, are we live? Also, where's the webcam? Device default? I don't think so. So it's 5.57, we're supposed to go live in three minutes. Right, that's not a good frame rate. And uh, we're doing tech support. We got the nice setup, and the, our stream's gonna be visible to the room here, which is nice. Why is the frame rate so bad? Hmm. From the top. Hey, what's up, everybody? We're here, and we're gonna play some Sleep Tight. We've been uh, brought in by the amazing folks, and we're gonna play this game for as long as possible, right up until the release of it, which is tomorrow. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. Pacific. Tomorrow, yeah. 10 a.m. Pacific, this game launches. We can test it out. Don't worry. I'll tell you right now, I am not playing this game until 10 a.m. Pacific. Yeah. But we'll be here for a while. All right, now the game audio should kick in. Do y'all play Magic the Gathering? We do. do. Yeah. Checking out the dinner spread here. Ooh, spaghetti. All right. So I assume then there are indeed meatballs. They have a very good food spread here. Mm -hmm. Got spaghetti meatballs, chicken, mac and cheese. There was a guy over there, like, halfway dressed like Black Panther who was going nuts for the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese is the real shit. And this pulled pork is astounding. Yeah. So that's good. Mm hmm Turns out catering in uh, Vegas is good. Yeah. And then a little bit lower. Going for Thorns, that could be our next thing. Why not? Let's love that life. It's the monster! You're just gonna let me put some weird mascot finger in your mouth? Don't, no. What's wrong with you? Oh, or sweet. A superstar. <gasps> a superstar? So I'm in a secret, disused, old ass back kitchen area connected to the wall gaming lounge, because this is where the snacks are. Wow, this just keeps going. It was then Graham decided to no further wander aimlessly in the back rooms of a casino. <laughs> they put our stream up on the big TV in the lounge. There's nobody in the lounge right now, but it's, uh, you know, it's, it's nice to be wanted. Oh, ah. We're done. It's, wow, my watch is about to die. It's 12.30, and uh, we are all, we're sweaty and... I feel gross right now. I need to I take a shower. shower so badly. <laughs> but that I'll was... watch you through the window. <laughs> No, <laughs> that was amazing though. That was actually that was the game was super fun. I, mm -hmm. I could yeah. keep playing it. We're number two, we're number tantalizingly two. close. We number so two close. on the leaderboards, so close. Um, really fun though, and uh, it's getting pretty chill here now in the yeah. evening. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go sleep, and then I guess they're they're doing their big launch at 10 a.m. And I guess we can come back for that. I don't know if we'll be streaming more, but I mean maybe they'll serve breakfast. That could be a reason to come down too. I would like breakfast. If they don't, if they don't, we should go to some stupid ass buffet. Yeah. Stupid. Or a stupid ass buffet. They probably have those in Vegas. Yeah, I mean, it's the city of sin. Yeah. Or the sin city. 
I don't actually know its actual tagline. Sin City. Sin City, okay. Yeah, yeah. What, the actual tagline is what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Right. They just ad- adopted that. So now. are we not allowed to use this blog? Shit. We were just live streaming for six hours. Yeah. This defeats the whole purpose of all, everything in Vegas. Oh, and Funyuns aren't very good. Yeah, they're like cheap croutons. <laughs> <laughs> what, a, what, what a weird, what a strange thing that was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... I'm I'm so incredibly glad that we did this. Yeah. Like, and and what was really really cool is they seemed so like grateful and happy that we were there to like to do all this kind of stuff, and it's just it, it it's just been a really good experience yeah. so far. It was like it, it it got off to a little bit of a rough start, mm-hmm. uh, which just on terms of tech issues and stuff. Yeah. But you can tell how pumped they are that their game is finally going to get released. Yeah, they're just really, and I just I just love seeing. Indie studios like do well. <laughs> yeah. You know, it just makes me so happy. Ah, there we go. A limited access to five buffets for only, tw- only twenty. That's not hours. enough time for five buffets. <laughs> well, I mean, you gotta start early. Two a.m. to like three. I mean, I don't know how long you spend in a buffet. Do you spend an hour in a buffet? I just don't think you could do five, I mean, I guess it's only 50 bucks. Anyway, we're dressed now and we're looking for late night something. I don't know, like a, a drink or whatever. It's, I have, like, an yeah, I could have a snack. It's 1 a.m., um, but this hotel doesn't connect cleanly to any others. So we're trying to see what's available actually in this hotel. There's a gym, wanna get swole? There's a gym, it's closed. Here's the Penn and Teller Theater. Sadly, they're not doing their show right now. They're taking like their only hiatus they've ever taken in their career. Is this, are they trying to, the way that his signature is here, are they trying to say that like, holy guacamole is like a quote, like a thing that he said sometime? Like, holy guacamole, Guy Fieri. It's something that I could see him saying all the time. I watch a lot of Guy Fieri. I'm really into like his his grocery uh, show right now. I just, I just think he's a really nice guy. Like he's, so, he knows how over the top he is and, I kind of love that about him. He's just, he's, he's, he's my precious cinnamon roll. <laughs> Apparently the bowling shirt thing is just like a thing that happened to him. Like oh. as, as on diners, drive-ins and dives. That apparently he, through no fault of his own, wound up wearing like the flame pattern bowling shirt or whatever the first time that they went to do the shoot. And then the costume person was like, I understand. And then the next time, it was just like, here's your selection of garish fucking bowling shirts. And he was like, well, okay. I guess this is my costume now. To be fair, that's how I fell into the whole plaid thing. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I wore it a couple of times. People were like, oh, plaid, you're like the plaid oh, guy. And I was like, guy. I am the plaid guy. <laughs> hey, it's the branding. It works, yeah. right? Are you ready to party? <laughs> I know we're not. Which is why we're going to Smash Burger at quarter past one in the morning to get a club sandwich? Something like. Something that's not. Their burgers look like the size of a small car, and that's not the kind of thing I'm into at this time of night. So, uh, yeah, we're just here um, looking at how all the men on the Chippendales poster have the same body. It's like an anime thing. It's like the artist only knows how to draw one torso. Nobody at this smash burger gives a shit or wants to be here. They're all wearing headphones. Even the guy taking orders has one AirPod in. I mean, everybody, I feel like if you work in Vegas, you want to work at the cool places. Yeah. Not the smash burger located way in the back corner. There's a pile of, like, sweepings in the middle of the ground because someone like swept up a bunch of stuff but then left it there and the guy at the counter just pulled your receipt because you didn't want your receipt yeah. crumpled it up and just threw it on the pile of Did garbage he? in the middle of the floor <laughs> bam Graham. yeah you guys got the same burger so figure it out <laughs> this actual one yeah what what, what, the, what is this chair? Huh. I, 
I mean, this hotel has the feel of a, like a very old sort of Las Vegas vibe. So I, I get it, I guess. If, if I saw this chair on the side of the road in Victoria, I'd be, I'd be like, I mean, if we recovered it, <laughs> that's probably not worth picking up. Also, also, check this out. All right, check this out. Yeah. Okay. Hot tap, cold tap. Right. Hot tap. Right. Yeah. Okay. Turns. Okay. Right. Nice. Okay. Cold this tap. Pressure. <laughs> this is like you just have to. Oh, I see. So just the top part, but then the entire fixture turns. <laughs> oh. Oh, hey, there we go. We loosened it. Perfect. We fixed it for them. We should charge. Send an invoice to the oh, Rio. I think we made it worse somehow. Sorry, I was just filming out the window this morning and I was like, oh man, it's really cool. Wow, what is that crazy thing in the desert? Like some sort of, like, it's like a reflector tower or uh, some sort of, it's like that thing out in the, out in the desert that like gathers solar energy or something. Or wait, it's the reflection of the sconce on the wall of the hotel room. <laughs> ben. Look what's down there beside the pool deck. Oh, oh. <laughs> it took me five seconds to see what you were talking about. That, uh, well, I mean, do you want to go play some beer pong, buddy? Not in this weather, but what the fuck? It's huge. <laughs> I, I don't have any, like, frame of reference for how big it is when you're down there. But like one well, of those look at the chairs it's beside. Those things look like the size of garbage cans. Yeah. Thursday morning. It's uh, a little after eight a.m. They're doing breakfast in the Wall Gaming Lounge from eight to ten, and then the game launches at ten. So we're gonna go see what that's about. I need breakfast. Ah, casino. The elevator already smells like perfume and cigarettes. We unlocked all those characters. Yeah, we did. Anyone still streaming? A uh, couple people streaming. Holy moly. Cookies and milk in three minutes, Ben. Three oh, minutes? You have coffee too? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> One, two, two minutes. Uh, three minutes. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I can't see anything! <laughs> what? Three minutes until sleep time. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Good work, Ben. I must say, it's a smashing adventure watching you two stream. Yes. Not I'm quite sure why I'm British. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry we had to, we had to d kill so many of your friends. Hey, listen, Alexander. listen. We, fight, we come for the fun. That's it's true. It's all imaginary good fun. You, me, us in good sport. You two, come join us in two minutes! <laughs> That's. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but that's Banks, the producer. <laughs> he's he's been here all night, uh, so he's you know maybe a little loopy. Well, he's up all night and he's about to launch a, launch a game that they've been working on for years. Forty-seven seconds. <laughs> Forty-seven seconds. You know how many people are on this dev team? Five. Three. Three people. They 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 they, they, they contracted some artists, mm -hmm. but. Banks, the producer, and then the two actual developers. Wow. There's three of them. Huh. 20 seconds, 18, 17. 18, 17? 15. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 13. 13. 12, 12, 11. 10. 10 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. One of, 
One of the TVs in here is still frozen on on our stream from last night. I look really red and exhausted. You look like well, it's you're also in the middle of moving, so it looks like one of those one of those image macros where it's like the it's like the freeze frame of the person in action to imply that they are in some way shook. Red Bull is uh, fifty cents an ounce. Gatorade Blue is only twenty cents an ounce. Water, thankfully, is only one cent an ounce. It's not free. It's one cent an ounce. Anyway, we're going back to the room for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, you know, after we make a quick trip to the dog relief area. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Listen, I haven't been outside all day. I need my walkies. <laughs> The elevator car we're in has been under repair for about a week, apparently. So we just had a great, nice talk with the guy that was in here with us about how it's rattling. So, you know, that's good. Have you ever been trapped in an elevator? I have been trapped in an elevator. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, twice to memory? Wow. One was at the Bay Center, mm -hmm. downtown of Victoria. Which, that wasn't as bad, because it's got a window, so you okay. can, like, see outside. But it was really hot. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, like, because... You're kind of like me, who is not into the, the not heat. into the heat. No. So uh, the other time was at uh, Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. It's like a rite of passage. Yeah. Oh, uh, really? Like according to people who work at Wizards, yeah, it's, you don't, you know. You don't truly work at Wizards. You don't until you're trapped <laughs> until you've been trapped in the elevator. Check the Twitter timelines of Watsy employees. You'll see at least one example of them getting stuck in an elevator. I think BDM's been hit like five times. <laughs> So we're just about to head over to the Strip for real to get some lunch, perhaps some sort of buffet. So I opened up the Lyft app. Ben, the Lyft app is saying we can try a, a free self-driving car. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. That sounds like a... I mean, this is all... This whole trip has just been like odd experiences. Fuck it, I'm in. Yeah? <laughs> all right. All right, so it's not guaranteed. But the next, the, our car could be so. I don't know how we find. I don't know how we find out if it's our car. All right, well, whatever. Let's call for it. Ah, dinger! We didn't get one. No. Unless the AI is named John. <sighs> Holy shit! What's the temperature today? Pardon me. What, what did you say the temperature like was? Forty-six. Christ Almighty! Don't take it personally. We're a little bummed out that this wasn't a self-driving one like the app suggested. All the shops are in there, yep. right? Yeah. Yep, yep. Wander through there. There's all kinds of stuff on that area. Find one of the many buffets. Mm -hmm. You know who's got a good buffet? It's Who, the Rio. Who's got a good... The, really? The Rio has a good buffet? They're, they're, they're famous for their buffet. Oh, dang. Yeah. <laughs> See, as cool as it would have been, the self-driving car doesn't have any local knowledge. Yeah, the self-driving car can't tell us that the place that we're leaving has the best buffet. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, exactly. No small talk from the self-driving car. No. no. That'd, be, that'd be interesting. That would be terrifying <laughs> if, the, if the car was like, let me recommend a buffet. <laughs> Here's one I tried last year. No. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you for the recommendation. Oh, I can't. I can't. Even with this. This, not, is, this is hotter than when I came here like a couple months ago. Or a month ago. Yeah, no, this is way worse. Gotta stop recording now because we're inside. Do you want a giant statue of the Avengers? That's cool. You can buy one, apparently. I mean, I wouldn't, but you could. Ben found Matt. It's it's just Matt. It's literally Matt it in looks, a Hawkeye costume. It looks more like Matt than it looks like Hawkeye. Because he doesn't even have blonde hair. Really. No, yeah. I don't get it. But so we're getting it for him. Well, yeah. It'd be rude not to. <laughs> the Avengers station at Treasure Island, the official Avengers store, has all the various Marvel Avengers souvenirs you could ever want, like disembodied torso magnets. J just, just like you always have, you know. 
you know how everyone has torso magnets, right? Well, now you can get torso magnets. Ben, check it out. What? It's a, it's it's a torso magnet. Oh, just a chest. Yeah, just just a little torso. Can well, because you know how everyone has torso magnets on their fridge. Yeah. But now you can get one that looks like Captain America. Right. I'm glad the the torso magnet is really like expanding. Yeah. And only Captain America. Ben's just stepped outside for a sec to try and find an appropriate opening and the crowds passing by to take a picture of himself making a rude gesture at a piece of architecture. Well, they say architecture. It's actually, it's a particularly garish looking building. But I mean, what do you expect? The man has no taste. Being this close to uh, all the water makes it like not the worst thing. All it makes me want to do is jump in. Yeah. Uh, also, I want to get off the boardwalk and across the street. Oh, I guess it's that sky bridge over there. Sure, let's try the buffet. There, there was a big sign for it. The buffet of the wind. Right. Turns out that the buffet at Treasure Island, called the buffet at Treasure Island, uh, is closed. It has been for two months under renovations. Oh, it's getting real hot now that we're away from the water. I hate this. <laughs> yeah, I this hate is, it too. This is so gross. Welcome to Canadians complain about the, the heat a lot. <laughs> to, to be fair, there is an extreme weather warning. Even Pokemon Go is yelling at us about it. Yeah, we have to say we're safe before we're allowed to catch any mons. Yeah. You could not have outdoor escalators like this <laughs> in Canada. So it's just so weird to see these open exposed sort of uh, infrastructure out here. All right, so we gotta go across there, down, and around. Oh, it's worse now. Yeah. Why is it so much worse now? We're not even that much higher. We're only like 20 feet above the street. Yeah. But it's so much worse. And the wind is like getting hit with a hairdryer. Maybe it's just like all the exhaust from the cars. I'm sorry if this makes bad vlog content, but this is literally all we can think about right now. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I mean, the wind and the encore look really cool. They're all bronzy. Yeah, I like how they made the, en the encore. They made the wind and then the encore was the second one. Mm -hmm. And they were like, we'll call it the encore. Every part of this is misery. Oh, just the, just the slight degree change. Yeah, from that when water by a waterfall. Oh, oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it's probably still like feels like 42. <laughs> Whoa! Now that that was brisk. It's hard not to feel a little fancy. Yeah. In this kind of situation. I was like, at first I felt like we needed to be wearing fancy clothes, but then again, it just kind of comes down to, we're actually pretty well dressed in the grand scheme of Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's there's quite a range. Some people really dress up, some people really dress down. Mm -hmm. And I think what matters most is that you're comfortable. Yeah. And, you know, I'm still not, but I can't get any more naked than this. I was going to say, I think the only way that I could truly feel comfortable is if I could somehow graft ice to my body yeah. and walk around in that. If I could just dive into the pool outside the Bellagio. Yeah. <laughs> well, luckily, we're both wearing our shirts and sleeves. Can you imagine? I decided to start with a charcuterie plate and uh, a little salad before I move on to the mains because there is so much food over at the buffet. And this one's fairly reasonably priced compared to the when we went to the Bacchanal for TP Vegas a, like a year ago. Um, so yeah, I'm going to start easy and then see where we go with it from there. Thank you. So for round two, uh, we've gone for uh, fried chicken, beef rib, pulled pork ribs, and some charred cauliflower. It looks like so much food. I got a whole bunch of meat and some vegetables. This is the big rib. This is the small rib. So don't talk to either of them ever again. 
Uh, and then the, the fried chicken. I also got the, um, the roasted quail. And it was real good. Um, I think so far, the tastiest thing that I've had is still the uh, pulled pork from last night. But I mean, I haven't gotten to dive into much of these ribs yet, so. Let me tell you, the pulled pork, the pulled pork from last night at the Rio was very good. And apparently they have a really good buffet. Thanks, John, the Lyft driver. But our pork, the pulled pork ribs that I had just now, spectacular. Now I've got to figure out uh, the best way to take a bite out of crime over here. I think I prefer the pork, but that's not going to stop me. It's all just very good food. Also, Riddle, what, what about if John was actually the self-driving car and like they just have some sort of robotic body so you don't get really skeeved out? By everything. Like in Total Recall. Yeah, yeah, exactly like Total Recall. Oh, see, I thought you were going for the the some sort of complex hologram. Hmm. I mean, that would be really impressive if that was a hologram. He was like sticking his arm out the door and everything. Yeah, robot though. I never got a good look at his face. He was always facing forward. He did not turn around even once. Hmm. I'm on to you, John. I have what is potentially round one of desserts. I have a, a sticky toffee pudding, a tiny cheesecake, a creme brulee, and this, which is apparently a blood orange panna cotta with what looks to me like a gold Rice Krispie square on top of it. Wow. That's a really good Rice Krispie Square. <laughs> oh. This crepe is delicious and will be my downfall. I already ate mine. It was great and delicious. I already had a round of dessert. You did. I had this. This was my dessert. I tapped out of this and this piece of cheesecake. I feel bad though, like, I don't like wasting food. <laughs> Never thought I'd cry into cheesecake. <laughs> It is really good, right? Yeah. Yeah, I had one too. I had it in several bites. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, I'm very full. When does the uh, like the, the the wheelbarrow service come to roll us out of here? I don't think we paid extra for that. No. I would pay top dollar for someone to just like actually come pick me up out of my chair from a buffet and like wheel me to the car. To my <laughs> bed. <laughs> yeah, to just the bed. Take me to my bed. Ugh. What we need is a pneumatic, we need a Willy Wonka pneumatic vacuum tube mm. that I can just roll into like... Isn't that just Futurama? What was it? Was it Augustus Gloop? Is that who went got who, sucked? Yeah, into who gets, the, who gets yeah. sucked in the chocolate tube? Yeah, like Futurama. Yeah, yeah. I just want it to lower down right here and just, mm -hmm. and I go to my bed. It is, by the way, ten past five. What did we get here? I thought we got in like four. Yeah, we did almost the maximum lot of time. They don't. They don't like it if you stay more than two hours. Somehow. Oh, wow. Oh, no. It literally feels. Yeah. Standing close to the pool there with the chlorine smell, yeah. it felt like I was in a hot tub. Yeah, yeah. Because the air, the air is so thick, it's, it's washing over my body like water. Got that sauna vibe. 
No, it actually, to me, it literally feels like being in a hot oh, tub. Oh, like you're actually in the water. In the water yeah. of a hot, like it's moving my arms, I can feel all the hair on my arms, blowing back and forth. Well, this looks like hell. This is hell. I'd stop to get a good shot, but fuck that. Six lanes, all waiting. In b all the way. Oh, thank Christ. Yeah, it is hotter than before. Yeah. How did how did that happen? Who allowed that? <laughs> Who said that was okay? I need to write a strongly worded letter. Where am I directing this? I don't think they have stores here for us or anybody we know personally. So, this was something we noticed about the love thing last time we were here. Because instantly the first idea I had when we were coming down the escalator was that I wanted to climb into the middle of the E, like the second one. But it looks like they purposely made it like a little bit higher just so that people would not climb onto it. That's really clever. And I'd believe it because that doesn't, that spacing just doesn't look right for that font. It should be just a little lower. I think they legitimately just like propped it up higher for that reason. Good idea. Okay, specifically to protect against people like me who want to climb on it. More unrealistic beauty standards for women. <laughs> <laughs> this is the part yeah, of the Venetian that always perpetually looks like it's twilight in Venice uh, and it weirds me out. I don't really know how scrap metal predator jives with like the general sort of oeuvre of the Venetian shops, but sure. Oh, a living statue, great. Do you want to go up and meet the living statue? I don't. No. He moves around a lot for a statue. I'm just... I'm just so worried about becoming a living statue myself. I don't want to interact with him. <laughs> like, when he touches you and passes on the curse. I don't know how it happens. <laughs> like, like, he just gets you a high five and he's like, I'm free! <laughs> I mean, you don't think this is voluntary, do you? That's There's like some sort of gallery with... They've got a Batman and a Catwoman up in the windows, but it's like Julie Newmar's 1960s Catwoman, but like Michael Keaton's Batman with the, with the fully rubberized can't-turn-your-neck cowl. We've decided to void ourselves. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go into void here and step beyond reality. There's to do we're gonna do we're gonna do a virtual reality experience. There's a Star Wars one, but because Ben picked, we're doing um, a horror one. Yeah. We're doing a spoopy one with spoopy ghosts. And it's by Ninja Theory. Apparently. Yeah. It's it's an original void experience. <laughs> Developed by Ninja Theory, so... Fuck it, I don't know how I'm gonna film this, but let's, let's do this. I don't know if we're gonna be able to. Yeah. I don't know how to say this without sounding like a dick, but like, a virtual reality experience has no right to have t-shirts that look that awesome. Yeah, they look real good. Those big V's. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. The graphic design on these shirts is rad. So, so what is, what is, what is the void? So the void stands for visions of infinite dimensions. Okay. So basically our full body, body immersive experience. When you come here, we're going to mess with all your senses except for taste because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to taste lava, right? No. <laughs> so when you walk in there, you're, it's like a traditional VR, but better. We're not tethered down to anything. You're free to move around the dimension as it allows. Um, you're, you're wearing just a vest and a helmet, and we send you off to the Mushu Bar. It's a lava-based plant, so you're going to feel the heat from the lava, smell the sulfur from the lava, and be able to interact with the dimension. Awesome. Why didn't, why didn't we pick the Star Wars one? Huh? Why didn't we pick the Star Wars one? Because the horror one sounds rad. I guess we'll find out how good I am in extended periods of VR. How long is the, 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 the Void experience? 30 minutes altogether. 30 minutes! And then that includes suit time as well. Okay, that includes suiting up. Alright. I was like, I don't think I've ever spent half an hour in VR. They also wanted to do 
They have socks. Why do they have socks? Why is their graphic design so good? I'm gonna end up buying a t-shirt. I'm so mad about it. Yep. All right, if I can have you guys choose a character card. This is me. This is me. Where's, Let's go rough it up. Yeah. How likely am I to fall on my ass if I have my phone in my pocket? Okay. Okie dokie. That was a thing. How was that thing, Ben? That was awesome. <laughs> that was so cool. That was the coolest VR experience thing I've that ever done. I've never done anything, anything like that. Yeah. That was a whole other level of, of uh, VR experience. The, the, the technology alone was astonishing. Like, you, it, was doing, it was doing finger tracking. Yeah. Articulation. Just from, yeah, just from like, from being in the room. Mm -hmm. It was uh, really, really impressive. They had like 18 people show up just as we were leaving, so it took me a little while to pay for my t-shirt. Uh, and the buffet caught up with Ben, so he went to find a bathroom somewhere, and I have no idea where he is. Negative five is the coldest experience. I mean, minus five Fahrenheit. Oh, it's like well below freezing. Isn't, isn't that only like negative twenty or something like that, though? I mean, okay, I think I just caught myself being a dick because, like, where you're like, oh man, negative forty something is so hot, and there are people who are probably like. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we're like, oh, negative forty. Um, <laughs> you're doing the thing that the people are doing to us. To us. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Damn. I mean, we're in Vegas. Let's go big, I guess. This is the dumbest. I'm not going to the VIP experience. No. <laughs> Two of your coolest experiences, please. <laughs> what the heck is this? <laughs> it's like we're home. Whew. That's brisk. It is. I missed it. Wearing shorts. Yeah. Whew. King of Canada. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm trying to decide. All the rum drinks are like tropical. <laughs> you want to hold the glass with two hands because they are very slippery. Okay. If you set the glass down anywhere, you want to make sure you put it on top of the coaster because they don't stick to the ice. And trust me, you're not that fast. They will run away from you. Okay. All right. Other than that, have fun. You wanna go find a seat then? I refuse to not come in here every time I come to Vegas. Now. This was a correct decision. This. What the? You gotta put the hashtag. Hashtag. Hashtag cold, cold mess. mess. Oh, this this way up. Oh, so you know. Hashtag cold mess. <laughs> oh, cold mess. I thought it was coldness. Co right? Wouldn't coldness make more sense? <laughs> I mean, I guess we're a cold mess of Russia. This is kind of amazing. Because you... I would I would honestly believe them to... Uh, fake... Fake a bunch of this? Yeah. You know? And it is not. This uh, is... This is... I mean, it's so cold. This yeah. is ice. Yeah. This is... Like, it's all actually... And then, uh, just so, every so often, the lights do that. This is the best I've felt all weekend. Yeah. <laughs> it, I, this is this this is home for me. <laughs> and this isn't this isn't Victoria. Like this is this no, is, this is your home. This, this is, is where you grew up. Yeah. yeah. Also an ice golden knight Stanley Cup. As Ben said, because they didn't win the real one, so they gotta get they had to make make their own. I look like some sort of Batman villain <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> cave Crusader? Just here in my ice cave, you know, where like like the one I was born in, as a typical Canadian man. He said we could keep the ice glasses if we wanted to but I don't know how well they would transport five feet away. <laughs> like, they'd melt immediately. It's already gross. Yeah, no, I don't wanna go back in. I don't wanna go back. You can't make me leave. I want to go back inside. Oh, there go the glasses. 
Can't, can't see anything now. Yeah. That was deeply stupid yeah. and super fun. I think that, that might be... They, I, I mean, it's apples and oranges. Vegas. Yeah. Vegas. Deeply stupid and super fun. That was ridiculous. Yeah. But I think it might be the highlight of the trip for me. <laughs> it was just nice to be cool again. I, I just want to be cold all the time. That's all I want. It's my, like, it's my preferred state of being. <laughs> my camera is similarly frosted over like my glasses and the metal on it is super cold. Hey! <laughs> I made new friends. trying to get to this party, but the elevators are not coming. I have been waiting for an elevator for what seems like an eternity. I pushed a button, but no cars come. I'm on floor 32, so I don't relish the idea of descending via the stairs, if I can avoid it. Uh, you can march in a little bit. Yeah, you, can, yeah, you never grow out of staying up all night to play video games. It's just that typically there's reasons that you really, really shouldn't. Did you know that the Rio Hotel is home to the world famous Kiss Mini Golf and Wedding Chapel? We didn't, because why would that ever exist? But we're here now, so hell with it. Let's go. Hell yeah. 18 holes of rock. Wow. A couple things before you get started, you know, make sure we're not swinging like Tiger Woods out there. I hope you know, I'm the king of mini golf. I've played it twice. I legit love mini golf. Yeah, hole one looks like a par, what in the hell, through someone's boot, the star guy, star guy's boot. Well, we had the right idea. You think, you think Kiss ever comes here and is just like, what did we do? Yeah. Look what we created. I would say they, like a couple members do, but Gene comes through and is like, yeah! Yeah. My name, my face is there, and there, and there. There's two options. There's the long way or through the barricade, so we're gonna try for it. That was definitely too hard. Five shot limit, so it's gonna be five regardless, but at least I got five honestly. Holy shit, this one goes through the guitar somehow. I have absolutely no concept of how it's gonna come out the other side, but it goes through the guitar. Oh. I think there's only one place it comes out of there.
Uh, this hole has a has a uh, there's a way to go the whole way through these barricades. Uh, and I didn't I didn't get through the first one. Let's see how Ben does. I'm gonna go the long way. Technically, it was better than yours. True. I gotta sink it on this one or I par out the hole. What a shame. Oh! Got it in four. Nice. <laughs> Wait, this hole has some kind of extra bonus round? Yeah, it's all about the gimmicks. Okay. So we have to spin this wheel thing and however we, whatever we land on, we have to do that for this hole. <laughs> so I'm gonna cover your eyes while you putt. Okay, what do you get? The same thing. A gentleman's duel it is. Ah, I see the blind hole. <laughs> it was so Wait, no. close. Hold on, you have to. Oh, right, 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 I gotta cover your eyes for this. <laughs> I don't think the hole is in this shot, but whatever. That did not mount to the angle I thought it was going at. I thought Ben put way more power on that than he did. Joke that ball went over the hole. Oh, did it? Yeah. Uh, three, two. Oh. Where did you end up? Oh, right no. Here. Yeah.
Did I push her through the hole? No, it went. It went way. around. Yeah. Okay. Counts as two. Nice. Oh God. Gene, why? You just try to get it up the tongue, and if you don't, it goes to the side, and that's it. You, can yeah. show, you get you get one shot. All right. I used to be good at this. Give that man tongue. <laughs> yeah! All right, let's... I know I'm about to lose, but all right, then yours. Three, yep. three, four, three, three, two, one. 51. By two By strokes. Two strokes. Oh. Your champion, <laughs> Ben. All right. Yeah. So he is the champion, but because you lost, sir, you need more practice, so you win a free game of golf. Oh, what? <laughs> what? No explanation, Dan. It also <laughs> works at Valleys of the Twilight Zone one. Oh, sweet. See? Well, damn. We have no losers. I'm going to keep this as a memory of my victory then. <laughs> Terrific. Now I'm going to. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm going to exit through the portal. Uh, oh. oh, now we're back in a place I can't record. It is 5.30 in the morning. And I don't much care for it. No one likes it. This is bearable. The heat out right now, it's not pleasant, but like it's, I could walk around in this for a little bit. It's actually, for a little bit, yeah. Yeah, without, minus the sun, I guess, but that's very pretty over there.